Math Log here, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic year in your math class so far. Uh, this one is uh, on measurement benchmarks, and it's lesson 12.1. Uh, uh, and so don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. Okay, here's our common core strand, and our essential question is, how can we use benchmarks to understand the relative size of measurement using, units. So we have several examples here. So here's one right here. Monica says that the length of her bike is about four yards. So we use the benchmark below to um, uh, determine if Monica's statement is reasonable. Okay. So right here, if you look at the tip of your finger right here, and this part of your finger, you know, that little part where the, you can bend it right there, that's about one inch right there. And then if you look at a license plate on the back of a car, the license plate is about one foot. Okay, a baseball bat, this is a baseball bat, a baseball bat is about one yard. And if you went for a hike and you walked for about 20 minutes, you'd walk about a mile in about 20 minutes. Okay, so a mile is just a customary unit of measurement, uh, or it's just a length, and so actually in a mile there's 5,280 feet, but we don't need to know that. We just... Here, here's an estimation that it would take us about 20 minutes to, to uh, walk a mile. Okay, so let's go ahead and ask this question. Remember, the question was um, uh, Monica uh, thought that her bicycle was four yards. So I'm not going to use this measurement right here. I'm not going to use this measurement right here. I'm going to use the one that's talking about yards right here. So do you think uh, uh, four baseball bats would be the length? If I laid down four baseball bats, do you think it would be... Uh, about the length of her bike, or do you think it would be less than, or do you think four baseball bats would be more than the length of her bike, okay? And just think about if you had a bike, and, and if you had a baseball bat, or maybe your brother had a baseball bat. So a baseball bat would lie down about right there, and so it's about, it's about a yard long, and since Monica's bike is shorter than four of those baseball bats, in the length of the base, uh, then the length of the four baseball bats. Her bike is going to be shorter than the four yards right there. See, here's one baseball bat right here, and it goes over half the length right there. In fact, it looks like about one and a maybe one and a half baseball bat. So Monica's statement to, is it reasonable or is it not reasonable? It is not reasonable. Okay, so Monica's bike is about how many baseball bats? I don't know. Do you think it's all the way two baseball bats? If I put another baseball bat, let's see. If I could slide this guy over, let me go back. Let me put that back right here. I'm thinking it's about one and a half, you guys. Let's see if I slid this baseball bat over right there. Can you see it'd be about one and a half baseball bats right there? Okay, because it would cut off right about there for that other half of the baseball. So, so it's definitely not four. So her estimation is just not reasonable on that. Okay, here's another one. We're going to use these uh, these customary best benchmarks for liquid right here. So in your mom's kitchen right here, she has a measuring cup right here. A measuring uh, cup holds uh, uh, eight fluid ounces. And then if you got like a uh, Ben and Jerry's or a Hagen dazs a little ice cream right here, that's one pint. Okay, and I can't eat that whole thing, but I bet some of you guys can. A big old thing of ice cream, and that's not a big one, but that's one of those little ones that's you know like a, a big fat uh, cup. Okay. Um, and then uh, a quart is one of these skinny quart things right here that uh, would fit probably in your refrigerator door. A half gallon, some of them fit in, some of them don't. And these ones you need the big shelf to put on. That's a gallon right there. So about how much liquid is in a mug of hot coffee? Well, what would you think in a mug of hot coffee? It's definitely not this one or this one or this one. There's, uh, you know, we just want a mug. It might be that one if it's a really, really big mug. But if it's just a regular mug like in your cupboard, it's probably going to be one of these cups right here. So I'm guessing uh, about one cup would be in a in a mug. Okay, so we're using those examples right here. Here's another one. Okay, so here we have, and we're talking about customer customer <laughs> units of weight, you guys. Custom units of weight. So here we have, looks like five colored pencils. Five colored pencils uh, weighs about an ounce. A loaf of bread weighs about a pound. A car weighs about uh, a ton. A ton is 2,000 pounds. So how much does a grapefruit weigh? Would it weigh as much as a car? No. How about this? It'd probably weigh about as much as a loaf of bread. It would It would be more than uh, those pencils right there. In fact, a grapefruit, if you can hold it in your hand, there's a nice size grapefruit. It's like a really big, big orange right there. So I, I'm guessing the grapefruit would probably weigh about as much as this loaf of bread right here, okay? The pencils would be a little bit too light for that, and the car is a little bit too heavy for that. So uh, I'm going to say about a pound. That's what a, a loaf of bread would weigh right there. Okay, so benchmarks for the metric units. 
Now the metric system is, a, uh, is based on place value. Each unit is 10 times as large as the next smaller unit. So virtually the whole world uses the metric uh, system, except for the United States. We have uh, uh, units that are in pounds and, and ounces and, and uh, and they're just not the metric system. So anyways, but everybody else in the world does metric systems. So next are some common metric benchmarks right here, okay? So the tip of a pencil right here, right here at the tip of the pencil, that little tip right there, it's about one millimeter wide, okay? A centimeter is about the, the width of your fingertip right there. That would be about a centimeter. I don't know if you can see this, but about the, the length of your hand right here, from your pinky to your thumb right there, that length right there would be about the length of what's called a decimeter. Okay, and then the length of a guitar is about one meter. I, I probably could have put a baseball bat in there too. A baseball bat is about the same length as a guitar right there. And it takes you about 10 minutes to walk uh, one kilometer. So remember, it took 20 minutes to walk, to walk a mile, so a kilometer is about a half of a mile, I would suppose, wouldn't you? If it takes you half the time. So we're going to use these common benchmarks of length right here and, and answer this. Is the length of your classroom greater than or less than a kilometer? Okay, so here's a kilometer over here. I'm going to use this one right here. Well, if a kilometer, kilometer takes us 10 minutes to walk, does it take you 10 minutes to walk the length of your classroom? It probably takes you about five seconds. So, so that means that the length of the classroom is going to be less than the kilometer right there. Okay? All right, so here we have uh, benchmarks for uh, units of liquid volume, okay? So uh, a milliliter in a unit um, uh, for liquid, you guys, is about 20 of these little drops. So it's about a whole little full thing of an eyedropper right here. That would be uh, what's called a milliliter right here. And then this is a liter, you know, like a big old soda bottle is a liter right here. So about how much medicine is usually in a medicine bottle? Okay, do you think, well here's a common little medicine bottle right here. Do you think a medicine bottle would be this or do you think it would be this? And it's given us uh, this option only about how much medicine is usually in a medicine bottle. About 120, is it 120 of these guys, the milliliters? Or could I put 120 of these guys in here? Well, I don't think I can put 120 of these guys in here. I can probably put 120 uh, of these little tubelets in here. So this is the milliliter, so it's going to be about a, 120 milliliters. Okay, easy enough. All right, so we're going to use this benchmark for uh, weight. So uh, mass is weight. Okay, so this $5 bill right here weighs about one gram. And this baseball bat weighs about one kilogram. So about how much uh, is the mass of a paper clip? Do you think a paper clip weighs closer to a, a one gram or one kilogram? Well, I think the, it's definitely closer to this one gram right here. I think the baseball bat would be much too heavy um, uh, for a paper clip right there. Okay. So explain how benchmark measurements can help us decide which unit. Uh, to use when measuring so we can compare different benchmarks with what we are using to see which one is best then we can choose whichever one is closest to our benchmark all right you guys I hope that video makes sense and and take care don't forget all your lessons can be found at mr. math blog